it's been difficult. It's been a difficult year. Dr. Shimon Warrenker fighting for his job back as Hempstead School Superintendent one year after this unceremonious send off. Sidelined for a year, he's still being paid while waiting for district leaders to make good on his contractual right to a hearing. Right now, Dr. Warenka remains a marked man with charges against him, some um, over 300 pages of charges that are the best beach reading you could ever have. It is fiction. I pray a lot, especially for the families and children of Hempstead. We intend to win and we intend to be reinstated. Warren Kerr, with a Harvard doctorate and educational foundation, was recruited to reform the long failing school district. And that cycle of failure is pathetic. This failure cried out for change. I reported acts of dishonesty to law enforcement officials. I blew the whistle. But when political tides turned on the school board, he got the boot. He's now accused of misconduct and bid rigging and using his own foundation, a claim that's cost the district nearly $400,000 in legal fees, according to records. Funds moved from teacher salaries. It is a crime that that dollar amount is being utilized for the purposes of trying to destroy a man's reputation who did nothing but come forward and say, I want to help. He did not have to come to Hempstead. And while the district reports progress under the eye of a state monitor, some residents are skeptical. I don't believe any of the numbers. They're calling for the ouster of the board whose members openly embrace a convicted sex offender. And invite him into school board meetings. That's a problem. We don't have any confidence in them because of the judgment calls that they've made. But the board's attorney fires back, raising the issue of legal fees, he says, is like an arsonist complaining about how much water the fire department needed to use to put out the fire he set. The hypocrisy is astounding. He says Warren Kerr's hearing, delayed by a time consuming investigation, will take place within six months. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Well, the president of the Hempstead School Board is calling on Warrenker's attorney to make all the charges against him public to let the community decide for itself if they are fair.